So for this takeover, we are going to use this super cute acorn SVG from Auntie Tay. And um, I'm super excited because I found a acorn little wood sign at the Dollar Tree. So this is going to look so cute. So I am going to do this orange um, out of a patterned HTV that Auntie Tay sent me. And then this in the middle, I'm going to do out of um, uh, like a gold yellow HTV. And then in the middle, I'm going to do some um, text. I'm not going to do this script font. I'm actually going to do um, a, let's see, I want to do like a, a skinny font. I think this one will be perfect and I'm going to center it and this I'm actually going to paint on with some acrylic paint so I thought this would be really cute for like a little door hanger or something so this I'll cut out and use like as a stencil this is going to be HTV and then the little ring in the middle will also be HTV so I think it'll turn out super cute and I got this from her, oops, it went away. But anyways, I got this from her fall Dropbox collection. So if you become a member, you can get all of these for free, and then you just download it here. All right, so this is pretty much to size. So I think we're ready to cut this out. So that's the nice thing about these SVGs is that it's all ready to go. So we can click Make It. So we'll have our text here, we have our acorn um, mat here, and then we have the circle right here. So we'll hit continue. And so I'll be cutting this out with my maker. And for the acorn mat and the yellow mat, we'll be cutting out using our um, just regular iron-on setting. And then this will just cut out of some um, stencil vinyl and we'll do that on our vinyl setting. So I'll switch you over to the camera so you can see what we're going to do. Okay, so for the um, inside part, the text part of, um, of the acorn, I'm going to be using a, just a very small piece of the stencil film because I'm going to paint the inside um, with some paint and then the HTV will go around it. So it's kind of like a little bit of, I don't know, mixed media, if you will. So I'm just using this stencil film. I'm going to cut this on vinyl plus more pressure. I'm not going to use the stencil film setting. Vinyl plus more pressure just works for me. So I'm going to load our net. And we can cut. All right, so we can unload this stencil part. So next we are going to cut our um, HTV. So I'm going to be using this super cute plaid um, HTV. This was from Auntie Tay's mystery. No, not mystery. It was her fall fun pack. Um, I know it's sold out right now, so I'm hoping she'll restock. Um, and actually, you could probably find this pattern just by itself, not in the pack. So for HTV, this pattern HTV, also, we're going to flip it over so the shiny side is down. And... Also, I forgot to mention, make sure you mirror this in design space before you cut it. Um, whenever you do HTV, unless it's otherwise specified, you want to make sure it's mirrored and you put the shiny side down um, on the mat. With something like this acorn, honestly, because it's it would probably look the same mirrored or not. It doesn't make like the biggest difference, but just 
always make sure you mirror it because you'll be very sad if you don't. So I'm going to be cutting this on my HTV or um, iron on setting and it's mirrored. It's ready to go so we can load it into our Cricut. Make sure this is all down. And we can cut. And while that's cutting, I'm going to just weed out this little middle stencil piece. So I'm just going to weed out these middle letters or the, you know, the insides of the letters. So that just finished. And I'm so excited to show you guys the acorn that I found. I got the, I found it at the Dollar Tree. It was so cute and I didn't even know that Auntie Tay had this acorn SVG. So I thought this was like so perfect. Such a good way to use it and like so affordable. Literally a dollar. And it's really light so it'll make a nice little door hanger. All right, so we have our acorn cut. Um, so we're gonna use this gold HTV for the inside circle. Remember um, to put the shiny side down. And for this, I mean, it's a circle, so it's like literally the same mirrored or not, but I still mirrored it just in case. And again, just cutting this with the regular everyday iron-on setting. So we'll cut that. I'm just going to trim some of this acorn so we don't waste it. Okay, so now for this easy weed, we're just going to weed out the part that we don't need. So that's gonna just be this outside kind of like edge piece. And to weed, I just like pull up a corner and just pull away. So that, and then this middle circle. So we'll have our cute little acorn. And then this is our little middle circle ring that's gonna go inside. So the only part of this we really need to weed out is the outside of the circle or like outside along this little edge and then also the middle part. Right. So it'll go like this and then we'll have our text in the middle. So I'm gonna clean up my area and then we can finish this cute little acorn. All right, so we have our heat press heating up. I'm gonna try this on like, I think 340 should be okay. So it's ready to go. Um, and so I'm gonna, pr what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this um, outside of the acorn first. Like how cute is this? It like totally, Go, or actually maybe I should do it on this side. So the stem is kind of going like the same way. So I thought this would be so cute. So 
I'm just going to press this first and then I'll do the circle um, on the inside. And so I just want to press this long enough just so it sticks so I don't lose the um, the uh, proportions. So I'm just going to press this just so it like barely sticks and then I'll press this and press it all together um, as one cohesive thing. Then I'll do the stencil in the middle. So, oh, can't reach. So to protect the carrier sheet and the HTV, I like to put a piece of like parchment or like Teflon paper over it. Um, just, I think it just provides like a slight layer of protection. So this is ready to go. So I'm just going to take my press and just, oh, I need to move this up a little bit so I don't burn my stand. Move this up. There we go. So I'm going to just place that there, move my heat press over, and just give it a press for like 10 seconds with good pressure. I'm not going to do this whole 20 seconds here. Just to make sure it sticks. And my... It came, the acorn came with the heat press. Okay. So, you can see we have that pressed on. So cute. So now we can press this little circle here in the middle. And since we're going to be pressing this all as one, I'm going to put this carrier sheet back over to uh, protect the rest of the acorn SVG that we already pressed. Put my parchment over it. And now I'm gonna press it for the full 20 seconds with good pressure. This is why I love HTV because it doesn't just go on clothes. You could put it on wood. You could do so many cool things with it. Now we can lift this up and there's the little carrier sheet here. So cute. I love it. So simple and you could like easily like hang this on your door or something. I just think it's so cute. And so for the last piece of this, we're going to do our stencil right here in the middle, our happy fall stencil. Um, I can't decide what color paint I want to use for this. Um, I think I'm, let's see, this salmon color or persimmon might actually be pretty because it kind of matches the red in this. So, to apply our stencil, all I'm going to use is this masking transfer tape. Um, and I cannot tell you how many questions I get about this transfer tape. So this I got from Auntie Tay. And where's my scraper? Oh, here's my scraper. Um, this masking tape is the best. I love it so much. Um, it comes in this big roll. You can use my code, um, the craft scraps all lowercase to get, um, 10% off. Um, and yeah, call it a day. So I'm just going to put my stencil right here in the middle. Scrape it down. And since we already have the HTV on here, just, you know, when you're, if you are doing paint and HTV, just make sure you don't get your, um, paint onto it in the middle or onto it, you know, where it is here. So this, 
I'm gonna use this chalked up paint, again from Auntie Tay and the Creative Sister. So um, all I have is this gigantic paintbrush. So I'm just gonna start by just doing a little light coat. I like to do multiple light coats. Um, I just feel like you have less chance of it bleeding. Um, and I'm kind of like dabbing it. You know, there's so many different ways to, uh, you know, paint your stencil. I People say, you know, oh, I think dabbing is better. I think short brush strokes are better. I kind of just do whatever I feel like is going to work the best. Because some, like this wood isn't very porous, so it's probably less inclined to bleed. Whereas if you have like a softer piece of wood, it might bleed more or if it has more like grains in it. So um, did one light coat. I'm gonna go back and do another little bit heavier coat. And I like to peel the stencil <clears throat> while it's still relatively wet um, because it's less likely that your paint will crack or um, peel up with the stencil. All right, so I think two coats is plenty for this. So now I'm just going to grab a corner of my stencil and just kind of lightly peel it up. And so I'll just go in. I think I can turn off my heat press now. Um, now I'm just gonna weed out these middle letters. And so I all like I feel like I pe peel my stencil and I'm good. And then it, when I try and get these middle letters out is when I end up like scratching the paint or just like like smearing it or something so just be really careful peeling out your insides of your stencil letters this actually seems to be working out quite nicely so yay all right so there you have it super cute super easy i think that took like maybe 10 or 15 minutes HTV on wood with a stencil, super cute, super ready for fall. Again, I got this acorn at the Dollar Tree, so make sure you go check that out. And as always, feel free to use my code, the Craft Scraps, to get 10% off your order at Auntie Tay. And as always, happy crafting and happy October.